Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Political Science 1101 American Government Summer 2020. I pray you are well and preparing for a very exciting summer session. This is a preliminary video to the other introduction to the courses or the other introductory videos. So this is just a quick orientation for the other introductory videos. It'll tell you more about the class. First of all, keep in mind that summer school, unlike the regular academic year courses, is pretty intense. Be prepared for that. You have assignments every single day in this course. We have 10 quizzes, 4 exams, uh, reading assignments for every single day. I do not reopen quizzes, have a floating quiz schedule. You've got to finish the work on the day it is assigned. While this is a very disciplined course, it is also an immensely rewarding and exciting course, and you need to prepare for that. Well, when does this course start? You should be viewing this on the 1st of June, 2020. This is our term. 1 June to 21 July, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to be using this low-level technology, but it's important that you know that, and it's unambiguous. That's the course term. Now there's, uh, just to mention again, an assignment every day. There are 10 quizzes, four exams, and other assignments. There's no makeup exams. This is not Walmart where you can come and go and uh, you can also return things. I will tell you in advance when a quiz is available, when an exam is available. If you do not take it in that time, uh, you're not given credit for it. But I give you lots of time, at least a day, and I give you uh, ample advance notice. But you've got to finish your mission by taking it during that time. Okay, keep in mind we are embarking on a journey, a journey to study the American political tradition, the past, how this system came into being, the present, how it's working now or not working in some cases, as well as the future. And the summer of 2020 is an exciting time to be doing that. So we're starting on this journey together. Keep in mind, this is a distance learning course. Uh, you've got to do a lot of work on the front end. Unlike in a traditional class where you do a lot of work on the back end. That means on the front end, you've got to make sure that you have all the technology you need to finish this course, to take it, to prosper in it right now. You've got to get ahead of the game, have the technology together, already have read and seriously studied the syllabus, looked at the textbooks, have everything ready to go. You can't do that week two or week three or week four in a summer school fast-paced and exciting American government course. So you've already missed out. You've already lost. The game's over. But if you've stayed with the course and done the work, you will not only pass, but you will do wonderfully. I can promise you that. This is my 34th summer teaching American government, 34th year as a professor uh, of political science teaching this class. I know you can succeed and you can do great. Also keep in mind in distance learning, technology is very important. You are in charge, not me. If all you have to take this course, if all if you want to try to do it all on a cell phone, you're probably not going to do very well. You need to give yourself a quiet place to study, allow yourself to use of a laptop or a public library, a computer, of some place that you can use and see everything that is part of the course. I am not your IT advisor. I am a political science professor. I recommend you use the technology in the best way possible. I don't reopen quizzes, for example. There's a time period, if you miss it, you miss it. I don't care about uh, the excuse that one may have. The dog uh, 
uh, chew their computer cord. Uh, you know, the, a zombie stole their uh, computer, uh, whatever. Uh, it's usually people who either forgot about it or just or just started it too late and didn't finish it. If you start as soon as a quiz or an exam is available, not waiting to the last minute. Avoid procrastination. Technology is your friend. Also keep in mind we have a D2L. That's what you're using right now. A D2L helpline to guide you and uh, to answer your questions. And that's that's a number you can call. It's, it's on the D2L site, and I recommend that you use that. Also, there's a readiness tool. Make sure everything you have really works. Also, when it comes to a browser, again, I'm not a technologi technological advisor. I'm not going to answer be able to answer your technological questions. Don't expect me to. Uh, is I uh, use Google Chrome. Google Chrome is easier, or Firefox. Um, if you're trying to use Explorer, you're not going to have access to most of the parts of the class. The single most important document for you to see in this kind of prequel to the introduction to the course is the syllabus. Take time. Stop right now. Go under course content, and everything in the whole course is already there. It awaits you. Go to course content. Download the syllabus in the course calendar. It is our Bible for the semester. It is our contract for the semester. And it's there for you and it'll help you and it'll guide you and make sure that you're successful in this course. The syllabus is your key. Um, there's in the other introductory videos uh, for today, there's some more background about myself. Again, I've been teaching this for you know, four decades. I've lived through a lot of American government. Uh, I'm also a scholar of American government. I mean, uh, published or edited 11 books in American politics, and I take this very seriously. If you're interested, go to www.drleecheek.net, and my whole story's there. Uh, you don't have to do that, but if you're interested to see what kind of professor, I'm the real deal. I take this seriously, and uh, uh, I'm coming at you. I'm going to give you 110%. All I ask you to give me is about 70. Uh, if you give me 100, you're going to make an A. If you give me 90, you're going to make an A. But all I'm asking for you is give me about 70. I'm going to give you 110 today all the way to July. Okay? Keep in mind that our source of communication and everything is D2L. D2L is what we call our learning management system. Look at D2L. Look at how it's structured. On the right, you have a calendar. I'm going to tell you every day what's going on. In the center, I'm going to have announcements. I'm going to tell you everything that's going on, which you should already know from reading the syllabus. On the left, all the content, all the beautiful content for this course to help guide and educate you as a citizen to become the very best citizen uh, that you can possibly be. Please watch the rest of these videos. Keep in mind a few key points that are, that are there that I'm going to keep reiterating. There are no makeup quizzes in this course. Please keep up. There is, there is no uh, ambiguity about that. No makeup quizzes. Do not ask me. I will say no. Uh, keep, we will have 10. The secret to the course is uh, I will drop two of these. Your two lowest scores, if you miss one, you get a zero. Uh, I'll drop that, but I can't go back and reopen quizzes and play that game all summer. I just don't have time for that. It's usually a question of academic integrity as well, but I give you a break. I help you out. Uh, you can fail two in the first two, make a zero, and still have 100 average on quizzes. Also keep in mind the basic requirements that the other introductory videos are going to talk about is that we have 10 quizzes and four examinations. So 10 quizzes, 4 examinations. Exam 1, 18 June. Exam 2, 1 July. Exam 3, 16 July. And then our final exam on the last day of class, 21 July. So 18 uh, June, 1 July, 16 July, and 21 July. Exam 1, 2, 3, and the final exam, which is comprehensive. That means it covers everything. Okay, this course is going to be a blast. You're going to have to do the work. It's there for you. We have three textbooks. Kurt's textbook is the main textbook. It's the Survey of American Government American Institutions. Second textbook is McClellan. That's the basic primary text. It's the most important text you could have. And you're going to be reading a lot of primary text in American politics fundamental text. And the third is Minog text, which we'll use a little bit. All are available and embedded into the course, into the first lesson. They're all there for you. They are free. Uh, 
Uh, I have received a grant from the university system to put these electronic texts online, and they're all there for you. Merry Christmas from Dr. Cheek. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, so they're all there for you already. And I'm joking around a little bit, but to let you know they're all there for you free, uh, uh, which may allow me uh, uh, to get a really special Christmas present, I guess. Um, but watch these other videos. Get ready for an exciting time this summer, and you're going to learn something. And our goal in this course, and every student in the University System of Georgia takes this course, our goal is to make you a better citizen so that you will go out and transform the world.